that situation, a person who is unwilling to repent. And the church bears responsibility before God to be the instrument of discipline. That's what church discipline is about. It's not independent of the Lord. The Lord is the head of the church. He says in Matthew 18, when you do this, when you discipline, there am I in the midst of you. It's always a sad thing to do this, but this is bringing heaven down. This is what the Lord wants. He wants to discipline him. One of the forms of discipline that he uses is to be put out of the church, to be publicly shamed, to be put away from the fellowship. In this case, it applies to Eileen Gray. My husband David, Eileen had been in the church for many years. Not, so, not too long ago, really, Eileen decided to leave her husband to grant no grace to him at all take the children to go away to forsake him, not to reconcile, to reject all of the instruction and counsel of the elders, all of the instruction from the Word of God. Many, many of our pastors have been involved in this very tragic situation in which she continues to throw accusations against her husband. We've done everything we can to call her to repent, so now we have to do what the Bible says, put her out, treat her as if she's an unbeliever for all we know she may love you. Pray for Eileen Gray that she will joy of her salvation will be restored. Pray for David, for the sympathy, the compassion, and the loving kindness of God be his portion. Well, let's say amazing grace. You know. Thank you for watching Jude 3 and Lore 2. I wanted to make this video because I think it is one of the most important topics that we could talk about. Child abuse in church. I received some information last night that's factual it's been researched it's been found out that at grace community church that is to say john macarthur's church john macarthur is a leading calvinist he's one of the leading calvinists and this leading calvinist decided to walk on the stage of his church excommunicate one of the members whose name is emily tell everybody at the church and john macarthur has a very large church it's a mega church he had decided to let everybody know that this woman emily is living in sin she needs to be put to shame and then he excommunicated her you know what she was doing that was so sinful she wanted to divorce her husband so she needed to be put to shame because she wanted to divorce her husband. But wait, you're saying. The Bible says that divorce is wrong. So why are you speaking out against John MacArthur? Well, I could agree if she was just, you know, I just like this other guy. I'd prefer to be with him. I'm out of here. Oh, I wouldn't like that either. And I would call that wrong. But did you know Emily? You know what her sin was? You know why she was trying to divorce her husband, David, who's now in prison for 21 years? Because he was abusing her and her children. He's a child abuser. He abused other children. He got caught. He went to prison. He'll be there for 21 years. And she is living in sin according to the elders at this Calvinistic Grace Community Church. She's the one who's living in sin, according to John MacArthur. She's the one who needs to be put to shame publicly in front of the whole church. And for what? For wanting a divorce from a man that was abusing her, her children, and other children. And it was true. It wasn't a lie. And why didn't we call the police? Well, it wouldn't make the church look very good. Huh. Where have I heard that before, Watchtower? Where have I heard that before, priests of the Catholic Church? This is heartbreaking. I'm a Sunday school teacher, my wife and I. And we love every one of these little boys and girls that come to our class 
We love them. The parents know us. We know them. It's a safe environment. Laura and I are always in that room together. Uh, together. Never alone. Never. And why? Because stuff like this happens. Accusations happen. People don't always have, if you will, a second witness. And we don't know what's going to happen. And so to protect the child first. First, we protect the child. And then to protect the person from possibly a false allegation. Whether it's a false allegation or a true allegation, it needs to be called out. The police need to be called John MacArthur. Oh, hi, Calvinist. Why do Christians like me are making, why are they and me making videos calling you out saying, why would you do this? Why would you publicly humiliate a woman who has been abused, her children abused? Why would you publicly humiliate her so that you could stand there and say, I have the highest regard of God's view, the Bible. When other pastors are making videos saying it's not your high moral value of God's word, the Bible, that was sticking out so much. It's your high Calvinism. Because I know other pastors that would have done the complete opposite in this situation. You were so quick to judge and to put her out. And I would say to you, John MacArthur, if that was a man who did that, would you be so quick to shame him and put him out to pasture? Probably not. It's depressing. I don't know about you. I don't know how you feel about all these things. The one who's listening to this video right now, listening to me rant so upset and so taken aback that grown men, this is what Mikey and I have been talking about. How could grown men stand there and tell you, I love Jesus, and then act the way they do? I'm going to shame this woman who was abused with her children, and you're going to put her out? How could you say you love Jesus and act the way you do. I know people who don't live by the book, who don't have the book, the Bible, and they live more by the book than those so-called people who hold the book. You say, I love Jesus. Come to Grace Community Church, baby. We are a wonderful, welcoming, loving church. And I'm not saying that all the people there are this way. They probably are very nice and loving. But the kids clearly are not safe. Because these people are going to cover their asses before they speak up and say, What you did to this child is wrong. It's child abuse. The man's in prison for 21 years now. You want to protect this guy? And then out of the other side of your mouth, I just love Jesus. I can't imagine why people are becoming atheists. I just can't figure it out. It's so confusing. It's not. Your God is an abuser. You say, come to Jesus, the little child comes, and then you abuse that child. What does the child think of Jesus? Do you care? at all about Jesus or just your reputation? Is it just the John MacArthur, Ravi Zacharias? Ooh, ooh, maybe Vody Bauckham could have something to say on this issue. Who cares about Vody Bauckham, John Piper, James White, John MacArthur, John Calvin, or any of it? when children aren't safe to just come 
and to sing little Christian songs like me and my wife do with the children at our church. We have like procedure on top of procedure. I'm never alone with any kid, ever. I wouldn't want to be. For what purpose? <sighs> Take a look at the article. Grace Community Church, John MacArthur. He, John MacArthur, was not the abuser, but unfortunately, because of his actions in allowing this to go on, not calling the police, and for telling a woman, this beautiful woman with her children, because he decided to tell her, you are living in sin, you need to be put to shame and be put out of the church. You're not a real man, in my opinion, John. You're a great Calvinist, I'll give you that, but you're not much of a man. You wanna shame a woman. And then at the end, you praised David, the guy that's in prison. You said, may God show him grace and love him. And then you sang amazing grace, how dare you do this? to the church. How dare you give the body of Christ a black eye because we wouldn't want to make you look bad. Well, I don't really give a rat's rear end. You are, well, I'm going to leave things at that. I don't really want to continue anymore because I'm not so sure anything productive is going to come out of my mouth. Grace Community Church, John MacArthur. I'll try to find the link to Emily's story. I'll put it in here. <sighs> Tell me what you think about all this, guys. I love you. Protect your children. Call the cops. Call the cops. Call the police. Call people that can help you if you're not sure. You could call Kim and Mikey. You could call Laura and I. You could call people in the community that are going to not just tell you to go buy a book. Just keep watching my videos. No, we're going to point you and give you the direction that you need to get real help. So please, call the police on people that are abusing children. And if you've been abused, our heart is here for you and we love you. Reach out. Reach out to someone that you know is trusted. And that can help you. God bless everybody. Have a great day. And thank you for watching Jude 3 and Laura 2.